Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently, we're looking at a coronal mass ejection that's occurring straight ahead of us uh, on the Earth-facing disk of the Sun. You can see here on 130, uh, 71 angstroms, rather. Let's go back to that. And you can see right here, as it occurs, it's very rapid, poof, right there. And so this is a pretty fast uh, coronal mass ejection. It just occurs right up there in the, about the equator of the Sun. and spreads out from there. But this is an Earth-projected uh, coronal mass ejection. During that time frame, before that, we have a prominence erupt. It's a very long-reaching prominence here. You'll see it start to dance. And before that occurs, there's an eruption of that. And there that goes. Quite a beautiful eruption there. And then there's another follow-up eruption right there. But the most recent activity was the, uh, the smaller coronal mass ejection that is projected towards Earth. This does not appear to be anything substantial, nothing to be concerned of, but it does have a slight chance of giving us slight active levels for our geomagnetic energy of the magnetosphere, giving us some chances of seeing the aurora. But uh, aside from that, not too much. Not too much else. Yeah, let's take a look at the, uh, on 304 angstroms, the prominence eruption, which is far more uh, capturing visually. There it is right there. And there it goes. Nice little dance just before. And gone. Beautiful eruption. And just after that, we get our chronomass ejection right there. So let's take a look at that chronomass ejection down 304. And this is what's going to be coming towards us right here. Right there. There it is. So that happened approximately two hours ago at about 1930 UTC, I believe. Uh, let's see where we are right now. Yep. And uh, that was about four hours ago now. So definitely a... Uh, Beautiful event to look forward to, and there is a lot more plasma there that seems to be loose, a lot of filaments that are hanging around by the strand, so to speak. <laughs> so we may have more on the way, something to keep an eye on. So just in summary, we have a chronomass ejection that occurred about at the equator that uh, does look to be possible for impacting Earth with a slight geomagnetic activity uh, to be increased, might see some aurora. And we had a beautiful uh, filament or prominence eruption that occurred before that around the uh, south southwestern edge of the sun that gave a very beautiful view of that eruption there. Here it is at 131 angstroms. It can still be seen quite distinctly. But I still think it shows best at... 193 and 211 quite nicely as it captures some of that cooler plasma nicely. There's that. And then at 211, which is going to be the pink colored sun. Beautiful display. All right, so there you go. Some beautiful activity to see and keep an eye on. Cheers and science on.